To create a stock count, click the Add Count button on the top right hand side of the page. You can name your stock count and select the relevant warehouse for the count. You can also specify bin location, supplier and product group. For this example, let's count our soft drinks product group. Next, click the Create Count button on the top right hand side of the page. The system will remind you to ensure that any open transactions relating to the count have been completed or accounted for prior to the count. The count will then display. Please note that you will only see the products that currently have stock on hand on this list. You can, however, add these products to your account manually. You can then either capture the current quantity in the screen itself or capture them offline in Excel. You're also able to delete products to be excluded from the count by using the trash can icon. If capturing directly and unleashed, then enter the figures in the count quantity column. Otherwise, you can export the data to Excel in CSV format. You can then capture the current quantities in the column provided. Please note that you will not see the actual stock on hand quantities here, which avoids any bias. This can then be imported back into Unleashed. The Count Quantity column in Unleashed will then populate with whatever you captured on the spreadsheet. Remember to save as you go along. You can also print the variance report, and this will show you how much you should have on hand, how much was countered, and the variance between the two. This means that you can go back and continue your count and update the figures as necessary. You can do this as many times as you like until you are completely happy with a count. At that point, you can then complete the count. Please note that once you complete a count, you cannot edit it. Finally, your stock on hand will be updated and we will send through the information to your accounting system. Thank <laughs> you.